Records. I didn't really like that thing. Oh. G P K on the P. Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone's doing fantastic. Um, so I wanted to come at you guys with um, a braid maintenance slash braid 101 type video. Just because I braid, wear braids quite a lot, either braids or twists or kinky twists or what have you, and I've worn them for quite a few years now. So I just wanted to make a quick video and kind of share some tips with you guys as to what I do to maintain my braids. Um, it's nothing extra. I mean braids are supposed to be low maintenance and they can still stay that way but it's really important that if you have braids or twists that you're taking care of them because you want to make sure that you um, maintain the integrity of your hair while it's in braids or twists. Um, I mean it works out as a great protective style if you take care of it. If not then you might experience a lot of breakage when you take it out and that sort of thing. So we're trying to avoid that. Um, what do I start with? Okay. Basically, um, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the fact that there are different types of hair that you can use to braid. Um, I mean, to each his own, anyone, everyone has their own type of preference as to what hair they like or what have you. But I'm going to show you guys two of the general types of hair that I am familiar with, um, and I'll talk a little bit about those. So first and foremost, we have the expressions, and expressions look like this. Um, this is what the expressions look like. And the expressions is, how do I describe this hair? Actually, let me show you the other hair first and then I'll compare and contrast the two. So the other hair is jumbo braid and this one is purple super jumbo. So I mean they have various brands of this type of hair. Um, and as the picture shows, it just comes in these big chunky three braided um, whatever this particular one has three in a pack so each pack has three um, and I believe this was $9.99 for the three in a pack and um, the expressions I purchased at my local beauty supply for $5.99 now what I've noticed with the expressions is that the ones from like back home which I get from a lady that lives really close to me she sells them for $10 and there's so much more in the pack, like it's juicier and it's way longer. So I like it to get it from her, but when I can't, I just get them from my local and it's $5.99 a pack. You don't get as much in the pack, but you make it work. Um, and then, yeah, then the jumbo. Um, I'm trying to think if this is also Kinecolon. If it tells me what kind of fiber this is. Yeah, this is Kinecolon and this is also Kinecolon. But they're like different grades of Kinecolon. This one is more crimpy, like it has a bit more texture to it. Um, and it's a lot lighter looking and it's actually a lot lighter feeling. This one, which is the Expressions, is a lot more dense. Um, yeah, it's just more dense. <laughs> um, but it's really easy to finesse. Now, the end result that you get when you use the jumbo braid is something that looks like this. And I mean, this works if you're going for the, you know, the really carefree, like kind of rugged type ends or whatever. But if you're going for a more finessed look, um, then you want to go with the expressions because you can pick out the edges of the, ex um, of the expressions and make them nice and tapered, which looks a lot more put together than this. But I mean, this works. It's not my favorite, and I found that they unraveled even after I dipped them in hot water. Um, the only reason why I use this one is because you guys know I had to hit it with the burgundy remix underneath. Um, and they didn't have that color in the expression, so that was kind of a downer for me. But both of these pairs work well. My personal preference is expressions. If I could get expressions in this color, I would have totally used it for this particular hairstyle. Um, so those are your options. Like I said, um, the jumbo braid comes in a whole bunch of different brands, but it's still jumbo braid. And expressions, well, expressions is just expressions. But I have seen other kind of mock-ups to expressions out there, and those work just as well too. If you just look for the denser looking one and the, crimp the crimples aren't as defined, so to speak, then you're good to go and you can just kind of like pick out the ends. With the jumbo, if you try and pick out the ends, it just mats up the hair really, really badly and it's hard to really detangle it because then you just have hair all over the place. So I wouldn't suggest you picking out that hair, but expressions is the bomb diggy. Um, 
So yeah, that's the hair. Me tongue pons, ne lebe shani yama. Me tongue cookies, ne candies. Me ni na me cram a box, me yeshu me shani yama. Me tongue di ani yama. Me tongue ni yama. I di ani yama. Me tongue ni yama. Me tongue di ani yama. Me tongue ni yama. Be ma me ya jo di ya. Now, when it comes to um, taking care of the hair, I like to moisturize and seal um, my braids when I can. I don't do it every single day. I don't overdo it. I just do it like once every couple days or when I feel like it needs to. Um, for those of you who know me, you know that I have hair paranoia. I have like hair ADD. If I feel like my hair is like exposed, I freak out and it's like, you know, we're running damage control immediately. So basically these are the things that keep me sane. Um, one product that I really, really come to love is um, the Enthusium 23. Now I made a video about this. I haven't uploaded it yet. I'm going to upload it. I'm not sure what order it'll come in. I don't know if this will come up first or if that one will come up first. But I'm going to show you guys how I mix up my little spritz. Um, and then this is just a combination of the Infusium 23 and it's the moisture replenish one. They have different types and glycerin, which I just get from my local Walmart. I get both of these products. The glycerin is about $3, three something, so we'll round up to $4. Um, and it is 100 mils. And the Infusium I get from my local Walmart and it runs about $4 also. So these are the two that I use. If you are in my house, you'll probably see bottles of this like everywhere because I love this stuff. I I love it. I use it a lot and it's so helpful. Um, it's a really good leave-in treatment and sometimes I'll use it as a leave-in on my actual hair when I have my hair out or whatever. Um, so these two are great and I use this to spritz my hair every couple days, do a little spritz up, spritz up. And I don't spritz along the entire braid. I think that's a bit of a waste of product. I know that my hair is shoulder length and that when it's braided up, it's a little shorter, but I'll maybe spritz up until here, which is maybe half the length of the actual braid. Um, I'll spritz it all down and then I will seal. Now you can seal with any type of oil of your preference. My particular oil that I love to love to love is Wonder 8 Oil. I love this stuff. Um, it's a mixture of different oils and it smells fantastic. I don't know if you guys can see. It has a picture of a man and a woman gazing into the sunrise. It's wonderful. Um, and it smells really good. It's a sweet smelling oil. Um, it kind of reminds me of like pineapple extract or something, but I'm not sure. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's really, really good. And this is what I use to seal. I've used it for a while, so... It's just what I like. Like I said, you can use any oil um, and moisturize and seal just as you would do to your actual hair. That is another thing that maybe some people don't really get, um, but because I am paranoid about my hair, when it comes to my edges, I like to make sure that they are moisturized just because your hair is in braids. Sometimes not all your hair is in the braids. I mean, you still have your edges, you have your baby hair. As the hair gets older, um, your baby hair starts to come out. Like, for instance, like in the front hair, I have pieces of my baby hair that have come out of the braid and they're just kind of chilling. Or maybe you'll have um, pieces of the braid that were smaller to braid and those braids fall out earlier. Um, and because I'm so paranoid, I just don't put them back in because I don't want my hair to cut off. Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're moisturizing that hair also. Now when it comes to the hair that's left out, um, I don't use the spritz. I mean, you very well could, but I want to make sure that it's super moisturized. So I use something that has a bit more of a glycerin content, and that is my No Drip S Curl. You guys have seen me use this stuff before when I'm braiding my hair to prep my hair. Um, and so I love this stuff for that and sometimes I'll use this to moisturize and seal my hair in the winter when my hair is actually out. So I'll just get some of this, I'll like massage it into my edges, make it feel good, make it feel good. And then I'll put some of my oil on top and that kind of keeps my edges all moisturized. Um, and I do the same thing up in the, the back also. So where I have like my little my little curlies back here as they grow in, I make sure that I moisturize the back area also. 
Um, so that's it for moisturizing and sealing. When it comes to conditioning, co-washing, I don't do it too often, but when I do co-wash, I use my Aussie Moist, which is a great co-washing conditioner. Um, and if I want a little bit more of a deeper treatment, I use my ORS, um, which is the Olive Oil Organic Root Stimulator. And this stuff is fantastic for my hair when it's out, so I figure that it'll be a great um, treatment for if I'm wanting a bit more of a deep condition. So that's it. So I'm just going to quickly go through the products that I use. Um, like I said before, I mean, it's not necessary that you pick up these products, but in terms of what they accomplish, maybe try and do something that's similar to it just to maintain your hair. And I want to come and do this for you guys really quickly because I'm already bored and I'm ready for a new hairstyle. And I was going to take these braids out today. Um, I've actually already started, I don't know if you guys, I've already started taking out um, taking these braids out in the back. Um, so yeah, I'm ready for a new hairstyle. I'm going to Vegas in February. Um, so I wanted to play around with a few hairstyles so I can decide on what my Vegas look is going to be. But um, yeah, so I hope this is helpful and informative. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, post them below or send me a message and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! So I then share me who to me a soakings, me yes, you can cry on my This is a sad me a business, me turn rig, pancake, me can test. Man, who said we're here? It's on the yama. LM Entertainment. Uh, rhymes in the building. Tu, 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 kada. Men of rap here. Uh, X, it's on the yama. Go see dama, go see dama. Share me rap in my own. It's on the yama. Eh, I didn't know what to do. Share, I drew my bone in your crown, no me who's on the yama.